Hey successful, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Daniela, your YouTube business coach. In this video, we're gonna talk about 10 essentials for running an online service-based business. So these are for businesses who are non-product, non-physical, um, um, these are online and they're either giving some kind of informational product or a service that involves you. So this is gonna be really essential for running that type of business successfully. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Number one is a business plan. I have a whole video about how to successfully put together a business plan. I even have a free business plan that you can download for yourself for your business. I'll go ahead and link that down below so you guys can watch it and get your free template as well. But in this business plan, you really wanna talk about what is your plan? Who are you? What do you do? Who do you serve? And how do you serve them? This is gonna be really important for you to get a baseline of exactly what you do and why you're even doing this business this is going to become the backbone to your business and you also want to put some goals on there as well with what you're working towards so you know when you're making your marketing plans and things like that you know what you're working towards at all times so a business plan is going to be very very vital in the very beginning whenever you're just getting started or even whenever you want to go back and retouch what you're doing go and retouch your business plan it should always be up to date um, and representing what exactly you're doing for your business the second thing is a website or a way that you want to capture payment now I say those two things differently because it doesn't necessarily have to be a website in my opinion you can literally have a stripe link or a link where people go and you can you know pay you money I don't think that to, in order to run a successful online business that you necessarily need a website much more than a funnel which I'll talk about next but um, whatever that means to you however you can get somebody online without them needing your phone number or cash that which is really a professional for you to capture payment is really really important a lot of people use their social media to you know put out content and then they'll just send out people send people links for them to like purchase through them so that's still perfectly professional in my opinion especially when you're just getting started do not overwhelm yourself with getting a website i would say build a funnel page and make sure you're capturing payment through there which is what i'll talk about next is your marketing you need to make sure to create an ecosystem in order to run your business profitably let me explain what I mean by that so when I say an ecosystem you basically need to have a mapped out kind of flow of how your customers find you what they do when they find you and what they do after they find you for example if you are on Instagram maybe you're reaching your customers through your Instagram content right what do they do when they when they find you do they follow you do they message you after they've done that how do they buy your product from you after they've done that, have you captured their information so you can keep in touch with them so that maybe you can offer them more products in the future? What is your email marketing um, or your digital marketing in general system? This is, this is what I would recommend if I were you. So personally, for a website, I forgot to mention, I use System.io and I also use that actually for my um, digital marketing as well. So it works perfectly. So if you are a service-based business and you're looking for that one kind of platform to use for your business, I would absolutely absolutely recommend system.io it is very very low price it actually even has a free trial i'll link the link down below and it's amazing because you can build your website on there you can build funnels on there and you can also build an email marketing platform on there and it's all one account and i personally pay i think 27 dollars a month for it which is a lot cheaper than like a lot of these other competitors so i would definitely recommend it and there's a free trial so if you want to check it out you can just check it out in my link in my bio so what i was saying about email marketing is that I'm able to connect with my clients when they buy through me I know exactly what they came through with and I can email them about you know reviews of what they thought that product was how it how what it did for them right and then I can follow up me knowing you know how they came to my to my you my ecosystem I guess I'll call it I know what I can offer them next right so it's really important to have an ecosystem whenever it comes to um digital marketing it's really important to understand where your customers came from grab their emails and have other you know offers that you can provide to them to keep them supported as they're in your ecosystem 
So a great way to do that, what I would recommend is if you are on social media, you're giving people a lot of freebies. So on my YouTube channel, I give freebies. On my Instagram, I give freebies, right? And from there, I capture their email so I know exactly what they came from. So for example, if you download the business plan template, I know that you're at a place where you need a business plan. So I know where you're at in your business. So that way I know how to support you going forward. So always start out with, you don't have to always start out with a freebie, freebie but it's a great way to capture um, um, someone's information or it's a great way to get someone um, in your ecosystem is to give them something for free and capture their email and then after that you want to keep up with them ask them how the business plan was for them get some feedback from them and then ask them how can you continue to help them in their journey going forward um, so that is from you know from your social media to your funnel to getting your freebie to email marketing right and then from email marketing you can go you can tell them to go back to your social media depending on what you're what you're posting what you're offering for free and things like that so that's just what i would recommend for any beginner who doesn't really know how to you know create like a sales funnel i would definitely say give something for free offer it for free and ask them for a review ask them how else you can support them and give them any offers that you might have and then also just support them and ask them to continue to support you on your social network that's a great and very simple sales funnel that anybody can use at any beginning stages of their business all right number four is content you need to be creating some type of content if you are a service-based business online right so i would recommend for you to have a personal brand because i feel like those are really a lot more personal and you're able, able to be yourself and something that i learned in business is that people buy you not necessarily what you offer so if you have a really great personality you show up you're really being really authentic about your journey people are going to want to connect to that because they have been through what you have been through and they want to be part of your journey so that they'll so they'll buy from you right a lot of people make decisions because of emotional decisions and not necessarily logical decisions so it's really helpful when you can just be yourself show up as your brand as a service-based business and um you know allow yourself to connect with your customers and potential clients in that way because it will really help you to get um you know more people in your ecosystem more sales and just authentic relationships which is amazing about being a service-based business so when i say content you can provide you know educational content um so for me i provide educational content about business for completely free but it allows me to connect with so many people who are a different paths at their business journey or you can you know um, provide an entertainment or inspirational content as well just whatever that you know is going to reach that type of person that you are trying to reach it doesn't really matter what type of information that you're putting out there just make sure that it's targeted to the right person that you know is going to be interested in your product so you want to be make sure to pick a social media platform where you create content it could be facebook it could be instagram it could be youtube those are the three big ones i know a lot of people do really well on twitter as well but um just focus on one of those platforms and Make sure you're providing a valuable content for the, the people that you know will be interested in your product or your service and it's gonna be really good for you Number five is graphic design you guys i use canva for absolutely everything and i've never bought the pro version canva is great for anybody who is doing um, a service-based business online if you need to make flyers if you need to make your website you guys i literally use canva for my website i um print out pdf or png files and i just upload them to my website it's amazing if you want to know more about that let me know in the comments you can use canva to create your logo you can use canva to create um little, little infomercials um there's just so many possibilities on canva i use canva for my thumbnails you can use canva for your instagram posts for your anything like literally just use canva um and also i also have a graphic designer that makes all of my um flyers for me so if you want to go that route you can as well um and i can put her information down below she's absolutely amazing but i would start out with using canva if you are at a place where you just want to start canva is free and it is awesome so anything graphic design related i would definitely recommend canva sixth very essential thing you need to be doing to run your service-based business online profitably is networking so what do i mean by networking you need to connect with other industry experts 
experts you need to connect with um people who are not necessarily in your industry but are serving the people that you know would love your product and maybe get on their podcast you need to get on their youtube channels you need to get you know connected with them on instagram live like just find different ways to gain exposure and talk on different platforms so that way you can either first connect with those people and network with them because you never know what's going to happen when you network with people like seriously but then the other thing is that it gives you exposure to then meet more of your target audience and more of your perfect client when you're on those different platforms this is going to help you to literally catapult your success as an um, online service business number seven is that you need to separate your business finances from your personal finances so i would recommend getting a business card and also you need to um, separate out your income your expenses your assets liabilities and make sure you're tracking them correctly for your business okay this is really important so i feel like because you know when we do business online we just might buy something and not think oh wait this is for my business because we don't have a physical business but it's so important to still separate those things out because when it comes to taxes and you want to be able to take all your credits and all your deductions um because you have tracked them correctly throughout the year so if you're in that place you need to do that i will have a link down below that you can download in order to start tracking your expenses and your income for your business but it's amazing because this budget will literally allow you also to start tracking all of your write-offs for the for tax season and this is great because you are going to not miss out on any of your um deductions for taxes and you'll be able to even learn about things that you did not know about that you can write off so definitely you want to go ahead and um, purchase that down below i'll have the link in the description box the eighth thing that you need to run an online business is reviews reviews go such a long way when you're online because when people do not have a way to know exactly how it is working with you how it is um you know buying your course or your book or whatever the case may be they won't do it but if they have a review from someone else that has experienced your product or your service they are way more likely to buy so whenever you're giving out your products for free in the beginning or whenever you get your first sales make sure that you always ask for a review because it's going to serve you in such a bigger way because then you will have someone literally telling the person why they need to buy your service right now so reviews are really going to be really essential when it comes to running your business successfully online next thing is the lead strategy so that's like a big business word but a lead strategy is basically a way that you a plan that you have made for a way to get more people to come to you and that are interested in buying your your service and the best way to do that is to not wait around for people to come to you it is to go and find them so if you have picked a social media platform then you need to go and be very serious about how you're going to find those people to bring them to buy your services this is so huge so if you've picked instagram find a way that on instagram that every 10 minutes every day you are engaging with that person or you're getting you're getting a way to you know be in communication with them tell them about your product this is going to be really important because i promise you people are not going to come to you you're going to have to go find them and the more you find them the more they'll come to you later but there is no way that in the beginning of your business people will just know magically about your business and buy from you that's just not realistic so you're gonna have to put down a lead strategy a way to find more people and to make more sales this is gonna be really important when it comes to growing your business and um, running it online all right you guys we are already at the 10th thing but stay tuned because I have one more bonus thing for you at the very end of this video but the 10th thing that you're gonna need is a strong brand so as I said before that I recommend you become a personal brand especially when you're a service-based business online because again people want to get to know you they want to see your face they want to know what you're about they want to know why you even did this whole thing right you want to create a strong brand and explain to people why you even created this service why you're passionate about it a lot of times people will want to be part of your journey because of your why and i have a whole video about your why i think it's called um how to decide what business you want to start but if you have a reason why you're online a reason why you started this business people are more inclined to buy from you because they want to support your mission and they want to be part of your journey so really having a strong brand presence on why you're doing this and obviously like brand colors are important but the really 
thing that's really important is the mission behind this business that is going to help you get a lot more sales and the bonus tip is to make sure that everything on your website is clear and every single thing that you provide is very clear cut and if you did not run this business if you were just an outsider you could be able to read your instagram bio or your youtube videos or your website and you, you would know exactly what you are about being clear means getting more sales because a confused person will never ever ever buy if somebody is confused they're not going to buy so you want to confusion out of the equation and make things very very clear on your website on your social media content anywhere that you post and anywhere that you make videos make it clear who you are what you do who you do it for and how you do it for them and watch what happens when clarity comes people are gonna start getting excited and buying from you because you have you have taken confusion out of the equation so that is your bonus tip of the day but that is it for this video those are the 10 very essential things that you need to run your online service based business if you enjoyed it go ahead and give me a big like comment down below what you thought and also share it with anybody who is a service-based business that you think this would be really really helpful to if you're new to this channel i'm gonna go ahead and invite you to subscribe i'm so excited to have you here on this channel we talk all things business i am a person somebody who helps people launch their businesses so if you are in a place where you want to launch your business and you want to go deeper and you want to get more strategy from me i recommend you to join the launch my biz network i will have the information about it down below in the description box and i look forward to working with you without further ado thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video Bye.